Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, six different cameras that you can implement in your game. Um, I tried looking this up on YouTube and I couldn't necessarily find uh, sort of like a video where it explains like multiple different types of cameras. Um, in this tutorial I will be explaining uh, the first person camera, third person camera, a 2D camera, uh, a top down camera, a fixed camera, and um, like a slide scroller camera. Um, I'm going to be splitting this up into six different segments into the video. Uh, let's just get right ahead and uh, let's begin. Okay, so for the first person camera, what you're going to want to go to and do is. Uh, we're going to go to edit objects characters person um if you have seen my other tutorials this is uh one that i really go uh back and forth to uh so for a stick movement we're going to be using the left stick uh left stick up and down and input stick movement left stick uh left and right for the uh left and right for the person i'll kind of go slow so you guys can see what i'm doing uh so these are both left stick and what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to objects, camera, and get our uh, normal camera object or uh, camera node on out. And go ahead and connect that to our person. Now what I'm going to go and do is go to input, stick movement, right stick, um, up and down. And we're going to go ahead and connect that to our up and down. And then input, stick movement, right stick, and then left and right. And we're going to go ahead and connect that to the camera as well, to the horizontal. Um, now, if we go ahead and go into the camera, we can go ahead and um, we can change the offset distance if we want, uh, which will uh, definitely uh, change what the camera will see. Uh, but I think we're going to just leave it as is. Um, you can change the camera field of view, which will um, obviously expand, uh, expand your field of view for the first person camera. Um, but what we need to do is uh, go to our person and go ahead and turn off visible because uh, we don't want our character getting in the way of the camera. So now if we go ahead and go into the game, we can now go ahead and move around. Um, our character does look a little bit low to the ground because it is in the middle of our person. So what we can do is, um, what I usually like to do is um, scaling it up. Just so scaling up the person and then if we go in the game, it kind of looks like the, the right height. You guys can mess with it and uh, make it the first person that you would want in your game. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, next camera. Okay, so for the next camera, we're going to go ahead and go into um, edit, and uh, this is for third person, so we're going to go ahead and take characters and our person, and then we're going to go ahead and take our uh, camera object and uh, go ahead and connect that to our person. Um, so the inputs are the same. Uh, we're going to be using left stick up and down, uh, connect that there. Uh, left stick left and right connect that to left and right and uh, for our camera we're gonna be using right stick again right stick up and down connect that to up and down for the camera and then stick movement uh, right stick left and right and then go ahead and connect that um, the camera in this case is going to be a little bit different um, we need to change the offset distance because this is uh, not inside the player this is actually outside the player hence the third person camera so we're going to change y to uh 250 and we're going to go ahead and change z to 4. okay now if we go ahead and go in the game we can now see that we can move our uh right stick left and right up and down we have a full uh, camera of a person but then also we can control with the left stick we can control the player and that is our third person camera uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, next camera okay so what we wanted to go and do uh, for our 2d camera is go to edit and we're going to go ahead and get out our character and then our person uh, for the 2D camera, it, it, it's basically, it will be following us. It's sort of like a 
uh, a 2D Mario. Um, so basically, it will follow us wherever we go on the screen. Um, so in this case, since it is 2D, we do not need forward and backward. Um, we just need the left and right. So we're, we're going to get our left stick uh, and then left and right. Go ahead and connect that to our character. And the last piece we need is our uh, game screen right here. So basically, this is our game screen. Uh, if we come down here to the bottom, we can go ahead and just connect that directly to our player. And then what that should do is if we go in the game, we can now go ahead and see that our player is being followed by the game screen itself. Uh, either we move left or right. Uh, we can't go up or, or up or down on the left stick because it is only taking our left and right inputs. So uh, if we go back into the editor, uh, we can go ahead and change the game screen a little bit. Um, there's basically... Uh, the position if you wanted to and the camera field of view which um, you know makes it so you have a wider screen you can also if you wanted to expand the screen so it makes your player smaller so now we can go ahead and see that our person appears um, a little bit more smaller uh, but let's go ahead and uh, move to the next camera okay so for the next camera uh, we're going to go to editor and this is sort of like the same as the um, the 2D camera, except that it is uh, top down and that we're only showing the uh, the very top. So uh, we have our person here and uh, for stick movement, we're going to be using the left stick. So left stick up and down for forward and backward and uh, left stick for left and right and go ahead and connect that to our player. And for our objects, we're going to go ahead and grab the game screen again. Um, we can go ahead and directly connect that to our person, except for this top down view. If we click on game screen and click on the settings, we can now do a uh, side view or overhead view. Overhead view is basically what we want if we're doing a top down camera. So if we click that and go ahead and go in the game, uh, we can now see that our player is uh, being looked at from the top. Um, we can actually go ahead and um, edit this so we can make it a little bit bigger and uh, there we go so now our player can be seen from the top and it's a perfect uh, bird's eye view uh, that's how the top uh, top camera top down camera works uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the next camera okay so for our next camera uh, this is a fixed camera so basically uh, if you don't want the camera to move at all uh, wherever you are on the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and take our person and for inputs, we will be using our left sticks. Uh, so left stick up and down to forward and backward and uh, left stick left and right uh, for our character. And that is our character itself. But what's different about this is uh, we go to game screen and take our regular camera out. Um, so basically if we move this anywhere, uh, we don't wanna connect it to our player because uh, this is not uh, judging what our position is from our player. It's judging by what it is itself. Um, we can go ahead and go into settings and we can change uh, the X axis rotation or the Y axis rotation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, rotation on the X axis for mine. I'm going to just aim it down a little bit. Now, if we go ahead and look in the game, we can now see that the camera isn't following us at all. Um, it is pretty much fixed. Um, let me go ahead and uh, move it up a little bit. So now we can go ahead and see that our uh, camera position is completely fixed. I've seen some games um, with this. Uh, basically, that's uh, the gist of it. You can go ahead and um, change any sort of attributes to this camera. Uh, you can change the X, X axis and the Y axis and you can of course uh, change the camera field of view but um, that's for that camera uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to our last camera uh, here we go okay for our last camera the uh, basically the uh, slide scroller is um, this camera moves automatically and um, isn't you know, basically based on the position of the character, it's based on its own 
uh, momentum. So uh, this camera will be going from left to right. So it will keep on continuously moving uh, to the right. So what we're going to go and do is get our objects, characters, and person. Uh, this is a 2D um, camera. So basically, we're going to only get our left stick uh, left and right. So we're going to go ahead and connect that. Um, now what we're going to want to go ahead and do is go into uh, objects, game screen, and uh, just get our game screen uh, out. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is right now, if we apply a constant on the X axis, um, it won't do anything. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So we can we can move, but uh, there is no movement for our camera. And that's specifically because um, the X axis is only getting a constant output of one. So it's not it's not changing at all. So what we need to do is we need to apply a uh, counter to that. So we're going to go ahead and move that a little bit over and go to middle and grab our counter out. So if we go ahead and uh, get our constant and then connect that to the counter, it will automatically start counting up. But um, if we go ahead and connect it right now, um, you'll see a problem. The camera's going extremely fast. It's going off the screen and um, that's no help for us. So if we go ahead and change our constant to something like 0 0.03, uh, we have something way more workable. Um, you could see that I can run on the camera. I can go back a little bit and I can keep running and it constantly goes to the right. Um, I've seen a lot of suggestions for this camera because uh, some people add a constant to the X and it doesn't do anything, um, but adding this uh, counter will automatically fix that. Um, you can obviously um, add uh, more to the constant and it should uh, go faster. So if we go 0 0.05, it will now be going faster. Um, and we can also do the same thing in the negative direction and it will go from right to left. So if we go ahead and do uh, negative 0 0.03, now we have a camera that's going to the left now. Um, but that was pretty much it for uh, all the cameras. Uh, hopefully you guys found uh, one of those cameras uh, useful and hopefully you guys can implement it in the game. I think that uh, deciding your camera framework is the uh, most fundamental thing you need to do before you start any sort of project. Um, so hopefully this video will help you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and comment if you guys want to see any more tutorials. Um, and yeah, uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.